Hello and welcome to another video diary in Paphos. I'd like to know where the toilet is. Please, please direct me to the toilet. I want to know where the toilet is. If you do not tell me what toilet is, I shall go and get the authorities. I will get the authorities. Hello and welcome to another video diary in Paphos. We had a bit of trouble today because we were looking for the place where the women and children are coming for the drinking and the for women and the... Yeah, it's quiet. Today, it's a good day. Um, although, the middle part was a bit naughty. But, uh, grants the man today because I got some really good goals in um, water polo. Um, so, we, we started the day off by going to our continental breakfast which was um, very nice today, um, although we were in a really bad place because we, socially, we weren't accepted because everyone was sort of going, oh dear my god, look at how tanned those people are. Ugh, vold. So a lot of snobby bastards. And now we're going to have an update about Titty News. Titty News, the place where we find out who's topless. Um, today I saw two pairs, but this woman was actually swimming naked. Um, she had her bottom half on, but her top half was completely naughty. And, um, I didn't actually, I wasn't actually swimming in the pool at the time of this nude encounter. I thought I might add that in today. Um, and the girl who was swimming naked had a very pair of, a pair of fried eggs, really. By this I mean she didn't have much on there. Her tits were very small or so. Uh, I didn't really go there, but um, at least they were the right shape because um, they, they were the right sort of round version and um, uh, so they were better. But uh, this is really sexist, isn't it? It's totally and utterly sexist. Ogling little girly. <laughs> Ogling ladies, should I say, not little girlies. I'm not looking at their uh, vitals. This is just awful, isn't it? It's just bad. Uh, anyway, let's get up. So, yeah, we had our content break. Then we went swimming. And we started off by throwing balls to each other. That's not a sexual joke. Don't take it as a sexual joke. Uh, beach ball, throwing it about. And then these people came along uh, and they said, uh, Oh, we play a sport. So we played a sport. We started throwing the ball to each other, like volleying it to each other. Then he said, um, Oh, have you heard of water polo? And we're like, no, what's that? And apparently it's a game where it's like football, but in the water. And we started off terribly. They were beating us like rabbits. Um, they, uh, they were ridiculing us. Everyone was laughing at us because we were so terrible. They had about 20 points and we had about three. Then this guy comes along, who's our neighbour. Um, and he says, uh, I'll join in, I'll be on your team. And this other guy comes in and joins in, bald hair, uh, and a bald, bald, baldy, uh, comes, and um, so we're 3-3, three, three, right, we've got the good guy on our team, and as soon as he comes along, he starts scoring goals for us, so our points go up, but then I get into the game a bit more, yes, and socially, it was very good, we were getting on very well with this, this uh, people. but we load the other people, you know, the people we were playing with originally, because they were the, they were the enemy, they were the enemy, and our objective was to kick their ass. They were very good, they were professionals, and we weren't, and so I started being all secretive, and trying to uh, win points. The problem with our team was the defence was bad. Really bad. Um, because Toby couldn't protect the goal very well, so they'd always win. And they'd try little crafty things like sneaking around, I've got the ball, and then throw it that way, and they'd, ow, and they'd, um, then they'd get a goal, and they'd always get a goal. But this, on one occasion, I was slowly creeping behind the goal. And then one of the other players, the, the big man, said, uh, and threw it over to me, and I threw it in the goal. One goal. And I, I got millions of these wonderful goals, and they were all like, high five, high five, because their goals were so good. And um, there were other occasions where I'd sneak up behind the other players and knock the ball out of their hand, because you're allowed to do that in this game, apparently. Well, that was our rules, anyway. We knocked it out of their hands, and, and so it was... Um, 
Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, there was this girl playing, and um, very attractive girl. And um, you didn't want to whack her, but you kind of did because she was so so cocky. She's like, <laughs> and she like, oh, I got it this way, got this way, got this way, ouch! And she slam dunk it. So she was really crafty in in, in the game. But our player, our good, our good player was really good, really, really good. He was really crafty and funny too, um, and so I really enjoyed his company on our team. But unfortunately, I, Jamie came along and I said to Jamie, "Come on, join us, join us." And I think he felt a bit disheartened. I felt, I think he felt he wasn't wanted in the game, so he he left. And I thought it was quite sad because I think he was uh, a good player on the team. Uh, so it was all great fun, uh, great fun and great exercise too, great exercise. And after after about uh, two hours, well, about an hour and a half playing, I was too tired to go on. Uh, and Toby and Jamie played against these other two couple, this other couple, and uh, eventually we all just stopped. Um, then we came here, and we it was around about twelve thirty by this point, and we went out to the. Castle of Paphos. Now the Castle of Paphos isn't a castle at all. It's some sort of DJ rock place. The hotel, no, the the castle has been converted into a club. So it's a bit dodgy. Anyway, we started off waiting for the bus, and Toby and Jamie wanted to go um, on a bus round the corner, and I couldn't be bothered because I was hot, bloody hot day today, bloody hot. And I had sunburn badly, and I can't stand the pain. So I was just trying to lie down on this bench. Couldn't do it, it was so painful. Then I just decided, what the hell, and I started walking to the harbour, which is where the castle is. Toby and Jamie had already gone halfway up the hill, and they didn't realise that I'd gone. And um, I thought they'd naturally just follow me, and they started to, they, they started to follow me. I didn't realise they were, but they... And there they're, they're are video diaries later on that were filmed on the other camera showing um, what happened really. Um, uh, and, and, and so I was walking to the harbour and I got to the harbour and I came across this wonderful, beautiful beach, which is not a beach because it's got no sand, but it's still a, a, sort of like a rocky, um, you know Destiny of the Daleks, when they're all those rocks fall on top of the TARDIS. Big rocks like that. And um, there, and there were loads of these rocks, big rocks, boulders sort of, sort of things. And and then you climb down and there's this beautiful, beautiful um, sort of sea. And it's like clear sea. And then I've done loads of videos of it because it's so pretty. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting for Toby and Jamie to come. And they did come eventually. I was just leaving and I was just, I was just about to say, oh, Sad I have to leave, I want to go in and swim. We had no bathers. Does that stop us? No, there's three options. Skinny dipping, fully clothed, or half clothed. Now, this place was quite popular, so skinny dipping was out of the uh, question. And I wouldn't have gone skinny dipping because I don't like to, because I think skinny dipping is very dirty and horrible. Yeah, if you're in an enclosed place, skinny dipping is fine, but when your family's about, you don't really want to run around with the tackle out, really. Especially when you've got a brother who's quite obese. It's not nice. Um, so, I don't like skinny dipping. I used to. I, I did. I have been skinny dipping before. I remember precisely where we went. It was in this little um, place with a bridge, and we all went skinny dipping. So I've been skinny dipping. Um, and Toby and Jamie came, and they were all like, oh, I don't want to go in this river. I did. So I did go in, and I went in with my shorts and my pants. Um, I jumped in slowly because it's so de so rocky, so rocky, and it's kind of kind of dangerous, really. And I didn't. I went in once, and I was sort of like the floor is horrible and all slimy and things. So I got out and went on to a, a, one of the rocks that's been completely immersed in water, and that was really nice. And there's loads of pictures and videos. Um, to accompany this, so you'll see that. And Toby's, I think, recorded some scenes of me in the water. Now, what will happen with these particular clips? I will probably do my pictures first, so um, videos will be saved and postponed. 
These videos will be priority, so they'll be going on first. If I even get this far, I'm on a, I might be too tired to go on, but hopefully these Cypress Diaries will survive in some form. So, where do we get to? Uh, yeah, so I went in the, in the pool, we walked back, and we got the bus home, and that's where the story ends. And we've got some Coke, which is lovely. Not Coke the drug, Coke the cola. Yeah, so it's been quite a funny video today, I like funny videos. I'm getting immune now to the smell of smoke, because quite a lot of people smoke here. But it's fine. It's not so bad, really, because everyone smokes, and so it's, it's kind of fine. My uh, sunburn is absolutely in total pain. You can't, I can't even get up from the bath, because it makes my skin uh, wrinkle a bit, you know, like, crush together, so it hurts. I just had a bath, and it was a really nice bath in freezing cold water. Uh, with a bit of warm added in, and I've I've cleaned my face with soap, um, and that's made me, I'm really happy. Now. I'm I'm really really sort of calm now. I'm really relaxed. So I'm going to go and grab myself a coke and relax until dinner. Dinner last night was this thing. I will tell you about dinner. Right, I tell you about dinner. It's exciting. Yesterday's dinner was chicken al nappy. I hadn't a clue what this was. And the soup, I can't remember what the soup was. It was um, minestrone, that was it, minestrone. Beautiful, lovely. And I got this, and it came, the dish, this dish came, called chicken al naga, whatever it was called. Um, and it's, it's bacon wrapped round a chicken. And uh, I didn't know it was bacon until Toby pointed out that it was bacon. And I got through these four rashes of bacon, but I couldn't eat anymore. <laughs> I was having the soup of the day, and um, and having those rashes of bacon, I couldn't have much more. And I was like, ooh. So um, I had this chicken, and the ch it was like a big chicken, uh, all to myself, and I was eating this chicken. I couldn't eat much more. And there were chips and there were peas. I couldn't eat much more. L bloody great dish. And then uh, I, I said, I don't want to really have pudding, but they had this sort of cake. And I, I, I liked this cake and I had a small bit of that cake. And I had uh, my, f oh, they do this delicious banana ice cream here. Lovely. And uh, a bit of weird comments. The other girl I don't like, you know, the person who does the food, she was actually in the swimming pool today. And um, she was floating around on a lilo, so that's what, kind of weird. We are actually out of power now, um, so I'm recharging it now while I'm filming the video, but um, hopefully it'll work. And we'll have loads more diaries. I'm a bit homesick at the moment. I wrote my postcards today. Um, I'm a bit homesick because I'm kind of like missing, missing TV because this, we're, I'm balancing my camera on a TV, but it's all in funny languages, and it hasn't got BBC One. Don't you dare tell me about Torchwood. I want to know when I get home. So, and I'm, I'm kind of missing. Um, I'm kind of. I'm kind of getting into the hotel atmosphere now, and I'm kind of feeling it now. Uh, I kind of realising this is a hotel, and I'm going to have fun. I'm going to go now because my neck is pain. Mm. I'm in such agony. Oh, such agony. But I really want. I only want to recover because bedtime is really nice now because they've done the sheets really nice and I want to have a nice relaxing evening. I'm more cold now than hot because I've put all this after summer and it's pretty cold. It gives me a shiver. Goodbye!